the life of vipers. Vipers are extremely shy animals, leading a reclusive life, constantly waiting. They have a unique biological cycle and their camouflage helps them to survive. Italy has four species of vipers, three of which are to be found in the northeast and in Friuli Venezia Giulia, where all three coexist in several areas, including the nature park Prealpi Giulia on the border with Slovenia. Vipira aspis, the asp, is the most widely distributed species within Italy. Its snout is pointed and its back displays a dark brown zigzag pattern. Vipera berus, the adder, is smaller, with a rounded snout and lives mainly in the mountains above a certain altitude, and it sometimes ventures into areas with an extreme climate. The melanistic form is quite common in Friuli Venezia Giulia. In this case, the livery is completely black, and it is thus better able to absorb the sun's rays incredibly useful in a mountain environment where it is vital to be able to store as much heat as possible. Vipera amadites, commonly called the horn-nosed viper, due to a pointed protrusion on the snout, sports a diamond-shaped livery all over the body. The females have softer colours, perfect for camouflage among the grey limestone rocks. In Italy, it can be found only in a few areas, in Friuli, Venezia, Giulia, Veneto, and in some regions of Trentino, Alto, Adige. Where the different species share the same area, they often interbreed resulting in animals with morphological characteristics common to both species. Each species has specific behaviours and habits and surprising biological cycles. In spring, when the days are finally getting longer and temperatures milder, Vipers begin to emerge from their winter burrows. After a few days spent thermoregulating in the sun, the viper's breeding season begins. Males searching for females can sometimes travel great distances. Before mating, males often fight each other in actual duels, repeatedly twisting around one another to establish dominance. The winning male begins courtship. swarming gently over the female's body in progressive jerks. Positioning his tail so it's perfectly aligned with her cloaca.
Only when the female is ready do the two bodies become locked together and remain attached until fertilization takes place. Sometimes the two vipers, caught in the ritual's frenzy, enter a state of trance and do not notice what is happening around them. With luck, it is possible to spot a male who, almost completely helpless, allows himself to be dragged away by the female. The entire sequence of courtship and mating may last a few hours. At this time, the animals are very vulnerable and an easy target for birds of prey or other predators. When mating is completed, the male and female separate, each focusing on their own survival. Vipers pass a life spent in long hours waiting and searching for food. Once they strike their prey, their powerful venom has a lethal effect. The viper follows the smell of its victim by sticking out its tongue. It then carefully evaluates the size and position of the prey. finally beginning to swallow it whole, starting from the head. Vipers' most common prey are small rodents, but lizards, birds and amphibians of a range of sizes and species also feature in the diet. of evolution, vipers have developed a particular prey capture system, characterized by the injection of venom. In the viperids, this system has reached its evolutionary peak. Each specimen is equipped from birth with sharp fangs. These are mobile and shaped so they can rotate forwards during an attack. Once stuck in the tissue of the prey, like a syringe, the fangs inoculate a venom that is deadly for the unlucky prey. Females feed much more than males because they must reach and maintain an ideal weight for the development of their embryos. In the end though, what really matters is reaching the autumn and accumulating enough fat to survive the winter. Generally, in Italy at least, the horn-nosed viper is the one that injects the largest amount of venom 
so it is considered the most dangerous. In fact, the danger that Italian viperids represent for human beings depends on the size of the animal and also on the health of the bitten person and where on the body the snake strikes. The end of summer is when vipers give birth. Gravid females move very little, spending many hours lying in the sun so that the embryos they are carrying can complete their development. Vipers, unlike most reptiles, do not lay eggs but hold them inside their body. Towards the end of the gestation period, the gravid viper's back is visibly swollen. Driven by the embryo's contractions, the female starts to move slowly. For little vipers, it's time to emerge. At the time of birth, the baby is still wrapped in its egg membrane. Thus, the little viper has to try to free itself from the membrane in order to begin breathing using its lungs. The little horn is at first stuck to the snout, but within a few days it will detach and move into its natural position. It's stunning, but the newborn vipers are identical to their adult parents and are already equipped with a perfectly working venom apparatus. Already, in the first hours of life, the young go in search of shelter, and a few hours later, the newborn vipers start shedding their skin for the first time. In a few days, they'll be ready to catch their first prey. In the valleys of the Nature Park Rialpi Giulia, the days are getting shorter. Average temperatures are dropping, and with the arrival of autumn, nature is preparing for a great change. The vipers move little, staying near their winter burrows, but often, on milder days, it is still possible to observe them on the edge of a well-exposed rock enjoying the last warm sunshine before the long winter. At this time of year, the vipers no longer feed. Their metabolism slows down and they begin to rely on the fat reserves laid down over the summer. As soon as the average temperatures drop below 12 to 15 Celsius, the vipers finally enter their winter burrows. And the most delicate time begins. Hibernation. From this moment, the vipers will rest in an almost surreal state of quiescence until the following spring. 